CompTIA A Plus Core 2, 220-1102, Practice Exam. Questions 11 through 15. This video is part of our practice exam video series and is filled with questions that closely resemble the real exam. So are you prepared to test your knowledge? Great, let's begin. Question 11. A technician is responsible for compiling a comprehensive inventory of all IT hardware. Which of the following would the technician most likely use in the creation of this type of documentation? The answer is C. Asset tags and IDs. Asset tags and IDs are essential for accurately tracking and documenting IT hardware inventory. Asset tags are unique identifiers attached to each piece of hardware, while asset IDs are corresponding codes or numbers associated with those tags in a centralized database. By using asset tags and IDs, technicians can easily identify, categorize, and locate individual hardware components within the inventory. Question 12. In a research laboratory, a data management specialist is responsible for maintaining accurate backups of experiment results stored in a folder on a Microsoft Windows workstation. Due to the ongoing nature of research activities, the folder experiences frequent changes, including the addition and deletion of files. Which of the following utilities would be best suited for mirroring the source data during the backup process? The answer is B. Robocopy. Robocopy, short for Robust File Copy, is a command line tool in Windows that excels in copying files and folders with advanced features. It offers mirroring capabilities, ensuring the destination mirrors the source exactly. This includes automatically adding new files and deleting those no longer present in the source. Question 13. In a corporate network, employees are experiencing issues where, upon attempting to access a popular website, they are directed to different websites. What should the network technician investigate first? The answer is D. DNS Server. Investigating the DNS server configuration should be the first diagnostic step as the symptoms suggest a potential DNS resolution issue. DNS translates domain names into IP addresses, and incorrect configurations can lead to users being directed to unintended websites. By checking the DNS server settings, the technician can identify and resolve potential resolution issues, ensuring users are correctly directed to the intended websites. Question 14. A user is experiencing an issue with their mobile device's screen rotation after accidentally dropping it. Despite having the correct settings applied, the screen remains static. What component should the technician consider replacing to fix this problem? The answer is C. Accelerometer. The accelerometer, working in conjunction with other sensors, will detect changes in device orientation and movement, crucial for enabling screen rotation on a mobile device. When the device is rotated, the accelerometer sends signals to the operating system, prompting it to adjust the screen orientation accordingly. If the accelerometer malfunctions or is damaged, it can prevent the screen rotation feature from working correctly, resulting in the screen remaining static. Question 15. A graphics designer needs to manage multiple design projects simultaneously on a Mac workstation. Which macOS feature allows the designer to quickly view all open windows across different applications? The answer is A. Mission Control. Mission Control on macOS offers users a quick overview of all open windows, applications, and desktop spaces on their Mac. It presents a grid of thumbnails representing each window, enabling seamless navigation and switching between tasks. Mission Control also simplifies the management of full-screen apps and incorporates features for efficient window organization. In essence, Mission Control enhances productivity by providing a centralized interface for managing and navigating multitasking activities on macOS. So, did any of these questions give you a tough time? Don't worry if they did, it's all part of the learning process. Luckily, Certification Synergy has a wealth of free video content at your disposal. 
To stay connected with our latest IT learning resources, just give a quick click on the subscribe button. This simple action ensures you're always updated about our newest video releases. Thank you for watching. Subscribe for more great content.